because we need to begin begin our box puzzle. Some windows you can jump through because you're awesome. What's up everybody, Bass Games, welcome back to Tomb Raider 2, we are in the offshore rig, and if you recall from the last video, at the very end, we got knocked out, and they took away all of our weapons, but they didn't take away all of our, I don't know, they didn't take away any of the ammunition, I think that they did is they actually rounded down to the nearest clip, so that way you have, you know, an even amount, but other than that, you basically still don't have any weapons, and honestly, this is pretty much the end of the no pistol run, for now, I guess, because um, I have to use the pistols in order to get an item that's dropped by a guy that I need. Okay, so we're actually caught in a chamber, they decided to jail us up, but they forgot that they put the switch for the door in the same area, so... Yeah, let's go open our own way out of here. Here's the switch, you gotta move that box to get to it. And then... Let's get out of here. You can do a side jump up here all, while, all along the side of that box to get up here really fast. Because this is a time door. There it is, it's shut. As soon as you leave the room, the alarm goes off and they're gonna send some bad guys at you. They're gonna come from that door over there, but we don't have any weapons to fight them with, so what we need to do is jump in the water. Okay, so this is a large open area in the water. There's nothing here except for this large fan that's gonna suck you down and chop you up. So be careful, don't ever get in directly in front of that fan, but you want to come over here to the side of it and pull this lever. Okay, and that's going to open the gate over there so you can get through there. And also you notice there's the uh, Jade Dragon back there. We're going to get that. Uh, but stay away from the front of that fan. They put these barrels here for you so that way you know how far back you need to go in order to avoid the fan. Uh, if you get caught in its tracks, then it will suck you all the way in and kill you. So we're going to get that Jade Dragon actually right now, soon-ishly, I suppose. Whoops, I meant to hit the player button because it's kind of dark. And let's swim all the way through here. You may have noticed the trap door underneath me as I was swimming through this corridor. That's how you get to the Jade Dragon, but we need to pull a lever to get to that thing. Alright, so let's swim up here to surface to get some air. Uh, we're going to need all the air we can get to get that Jade Dragon because it is kind of a little swim to get to it. Uh, plus, you got to pull this lever. You could pull the lever and then get some more air and go get it too if you want, but it's not a timed lever. So pull that thing and then let's swim up through here. You can also wait to get this later because you got to go back through this way once again. But I might as well just pick it up now, I suppose. Get this first secret out of the way. So let's swim back. Uh, as soon as we turn this corner, that's where the trap door was. And you just swim down and underneath. And then we'll be behind that huge fan. It's not going to do anything to us while we're here. And we can pick up the Jade Dragon and leave the same way we came. Alright, let's swim out through this way. And I'm losing my flare. That's fine, I've got plenty of flares. I think. Flight another one, just in case. Okay, so as you can see, I barely had enough air to get through that. So make sure you swim fast and don't get caught, or just surface yourself after you pull the lever. Alright, let's pull ourselves out over here and traverse through this corridor. We're gonna come out into this plane area, okay? And now the, here, the whole idea is to get our pistols. That's what we're trying to do right now. So what we want to do, if you want the shortcut, you can actually get on the plane right now. You can stand on this platform and then run and jump over onto the nose, okay? This front part is actually a decoration, and so you actually glitch onto the front end right above Lara's head right now. And then you can get on top of the plane to get your guns, but we're going to do the legitimate route. What we want to do is we want to press this button, okay? This is going to open the hatch for the plane underneath it. So you can swim underneath the plane and get into that thing. And I guess they put the engine switch for the plane and, you know, on the underside. I don't know why it's not in the cockpit, but whatever, man. Whatever. I didn't design a plane. So, all right. Push the button, and it turns off the engine for the th one of the engines of the plane, which is what I'm trying to say. It's like they put the engine switch in the cargo hold. What the heck? All right, so what we need to do now is we need to go back around, okay, avoid that 
fan again still, otherwise you will still die. And if you notice, it's actually turning in the wrong direction. It's turning in the direction to actually blow water, not suck water, but it will still suck Lara and kill her, so I don't know what's up with that. Bad physics programming. Alright, so, once again traversing this corridor, we gotta go back and uh, get back on top of the plane, because now we can actually legitimately do it. Okay, I don't think that the jumping to the nose of the plane is the proper way to do it. I think that's a sort of a glitch move, because you gotta sort of glitch your way onto the nose. But this is the proper way. We, we turn off the engine so that way we can run and jump and grab the wing without getting chopped up by the engine. Okay, and they gave us this breakaway gate. You know, this little uh, rail right here is broken away so that way you can make this jump. Aim to the slightly to the left of the engine, run, jump, and grab. You'll jump straight through the wings. Okay, because she's... I don't know. Just stuff goes right through her sometimes. And then just approach the top of the plane right here with the discoloration. The trapdoor will open and you'll be able to claim your pistols. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we have the pistols. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to use them at least on one guy. Okay, and but... There's a couple of other guys between me and the ne next set of uh, weaponry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just kill the guy that's carrying the key card and try to hold true to the no pistol run, go grab the weapons that I need, the pistols, the automatics is what I'm going to get, and then I'll finish off everybody else for the, for the all kill run. So let's get the pistols out and let's get ready to go kill some dude. He's the one that's carrying the gun. You don't want to shoot the guy with the bat. So make sure you bypass him up and shoot this guy. If you're doing no uh, pistols only or whatever. Grab this real quick. He's going to probably hit you once or twice, but that's fine. Um, now we got to do some kiting, okay? This is kind of the unfun part. But uh, we also got to do some extra kiting to prevent the other guys from getting me. So this might actually seem irritating to some of you guys, and I'm sorry, but I really want to get this done with, with uh, all kills as uh, little pistol use as possible. So I'm going to kite him over here. I already picked up... Oh, that's the walk button. I keep trying to use that as sprint. We gotta run and jump over these barrels. And it's not gonna kill the guy, but the reason why I went up there is because he might actually climb that thing and take some time trying to get down. I wanna get over here to use this yellow key card. No, Lara! You failed! Okay, I'm gonna try a better uh, kite, and then I'll get back to that spot and put the key card in. Alright guys, keep in mind that you do run faster as Lara Croft whenever you jump, so yeah, use that to your advantage. Okay, I finally got lined up, I think, at a good spot. He might get one attack off on me, but that's about it. And that's fine. Um, I still have to go get my automatics. So, yeah, we're gonna go up here, and there's another door we're gonna open, and we're gonna spawn two more of these guys. <laughs> and I gotta kite them again, and I promise I won't make you watch me kite them. I'm just taking them all the way back to the jail cell that I was in, and then turning back around. But in order to spawn these guys, just enter the room, and also, that just spawns one, but you gotta go up here to spawn this other guy. Alright, so now I'm faced with three of these guys with batons. I'm gonna kite them back over here, and I'll see you guys back at the spot. Okay guys, I've kited them effectively, I think. Uh, the whole idea behind kiting them is trying to get as much distance between me and them as possible, so that way I can turn this door and open it without getting attacked. See, I uh, had them quite a distance away from me. Now another guy is gonna spawn right here, and I'm just gonna avoid him. We're about to get the automatics right now, we can finally take care of all these guys. Oh gosh, I can't even see a thing! The middle rack here in the center is where you're gonna find the automatics. You gotta jump up to grab the ledge. These guys will let you. I don't think they're gonna let me. Mm. There we go. Alright, so they didn't take any way too much life. I'm still good for the no med pack run. But that's pretty much uh, how you do it. I You can actually take a lot less damage than what I've taken uh, if you get up here in time. Alright, so finally we got our automatics back. We can take care of the guys that... Uh, these baton guys. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Alright, looks like they're about to shoot them up as they come down the hallway. Try to use as little ammunition as possible. Alright, they're all down and I believe all of them dropped some stuff. Uh -huh. You can also see the harpoon gun here on the bed. So we, we get a new gun after we get all of our guns uh -huh. taken away. We get the harpoons. Yes! Plus there's a couple of extra pickups that I missed on the way in here trying to dodge all these uh -huh. guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I just kind of wanted tr to uh -huh. see uh, how far we can get without uh, running out of ammo. So, let's go over here and pick up all this stuff that we missed. We got some automatic ammo over here in this room. As soon as we enter uh -huh. it, you just turn to the left. It's right there. And then across from the entrance, there is some more harpoons for our new harpoon gun. 
Aha. Uh -huh. And that's good. Let's go into this room. We're gonna turn to the left here on this bunk. Jump up here. There's a switch that we need to press. This is a timed switch, so make sure you don't mess around. The timer's pretty long, though. It's not like a Tomb Raider level editor timer, which are actually really short. This one gives you plenty of time to make it up there, so just take your time and be careful. Make sure you come onto this bunk on the right side, so that way you can stand from this bunk to jump and grab the ledge here. You can't jump and grab the ledge from the other bunk. Alright, so let's... Uh, it's not the flare button. Oh, I need to turn around and grab the ledge here. Make sure you slide down this backwards, otherwise you will fall and die. Alright, so let's fall down to the end here and grab this box. We want to pull it out. We gotta pull both of these out. The whole idea here is we gotta jump over some fire. And the box is gonna give us the height that we need to do so, but we gotta move it into position first. It doesn't matter which box you use, I'm gonna use the one on the left here to do the jump, but I do need to move this one as well so that way I can get behind the other one and push it out so I can get closer to the ladder. Alright, now let's go behind this other one and push it out, and then we can make our run and jump over to the ladder that we need to climb. Oh no, Flare Death! Flare Death eminent, at least. That would have been pretty bad if I would have thrown my Flare there uh, while I was trying to jump for this ladder. So if you're not familiar what a Flare Death is, basically whenever a Flare burns out on Lara's hand, she does an animation to throw it. And during that animation, you cannot grab ledges, so if you're trying to jump in the air to grab a ledge while she her flare runs out, you will not grab the ledge. And that's a flare death. Okay, here's a guy down a corridor, and we're gonna pick up a red key card. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's grab that, and then you can climb these this ladder right here, because this is gonna take us up to the stone dragon that we're gonna need for the secrets. Kind of a long climb, but the only thing up here is the secret, so... And you can make your way back down. All right, if you pull yourself up, all you do is just do a backflip and you should land pretty close to it. Alright, let's pick that up and then uh, I'm going to throw my flare away because flare death. Alright, let's get down here. I wouldn't have died, but alright, well, whatever. Let's light another flare because it's dark and we got plenty of them. And now let's go back into this room. Now we fell from a, up above in a certain spot. This all should look familiar. There's the lever to get the Jade Dragon. And now let's climb out here. And we're going to head back to the plane area. And now we have a red key card. Okay. So now we can use the red key card in the area that we haven't seen yet. You can also shoot these windows out. You cannot jump through them. It's just a nice little shortcut. Oh, and by the way, here's a button that I passed up while I was trying to kite the guys. You can press this to turn the alarm off. It does nothing else. The alarm is going to come back on anyway, but just so you know. All right, as soon as you enter this room right here, or if you can do it beforehand too, you're going to spawn some enemies. One of them has a gun, so make sure you keep your distance. And he's down now anyway. You didn't even get to see him. But here he is, and he dropped some Uzi ammo. Uh -huh. So grab that, and then let's make our way over to this right here. Here's some barrels, so make sure you uh, avoid them. Unlike what I just did, I was trying to be classy and I ruined my entire walkthrough just now. Alright, I'll see you guys back at the spot. Alright guys, I'm almost back at the spot. Uh, a couple things I want to mention though is that I saved a lot of health this time around. Uh, I still haven't used a med pack, of course, and uh, I didn't waste my shot on that window so that way I have more ammunition to take out people because I am very... I need the ammunition. I need it. Just how it goes. Alright, so back in this room, we got a couple guys to take care of. Ooh, that was close. And then we have this other gun guy. I'm gonna ambush him, just like I do on the other guys. Once he's down, he drops the Uzi clips. Of course, you guys have seen all of this, so let's just move on. Now let's go ahead and get past these barrels. This time I'll be a little bit safer. I was trying to jump over them, which you can do. But, um, yeah, let's just trigger them and then get out of the way. Just to be safe on that end. And then let's climb on up. And put the key card into the hole. Now this is going to open the door clearly, and then we're going to go in there and take care of a shotgun guy. So take your guns out immediately. And drop him. He drops some shotgun shells, and there's also a uh, baton guy down below. 
We'll deal with him in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and push this box into the wall. Now, there's actually two baton guys down there. One of them, he spawns way back behind you when you start all this stuff. But, let's go ahead and take care of him now. I'm being very cautious with my firing because I need to conserve as much ammunition as possible at this point. Oh, here's the next, the next guy. So I'm making sure that every my last shot kills him. I don't shoot any extra. All right, so he drops flares. This guy drops a small med pack, and now let's go do some more box stuff. And like I told you, that alarm that's going off <laughs> it didn't matter that you press the button because it goes back off. <laughs> actually, I may have actually forgot to turn it. Did I forget to turn it off this time? I forget. All right, but regardless, the alarm comes back on, and <laughs> it's a pointless button basically. All right, so I moved the box. Now we gotta go back to the other side again to push it out, and then it will cause it to protrude, and we can use it as a platform to get up to an opening. All right, so now the box is in position. Let's go hop on that thing. Probably make it the best use of this platform to get on top of it. Now, the whole idea here is we can't cross this pool right here because there's no water in it and there's no ladder on the other side to get you out. So what you need to do is you have to go pretty much fill that thing, and that's what we're going to do, like, right now. Hop on top of this box, it gives us access to this corridor, and now draw your guns because you're going to have to fight a guy with a shotgun here in a second. So I'm just going to try and bait him out a little bit, see if he comes down the... He's on his way. He's on his way. Ambush! He missed his shot, and he dropped shotgun shells, uh -huh. go figure. So, hopefully we get the shotgun back here soon, uh, on, which we will, actually, now that I think about it. So let's grab that thing, let's go over here and pull this lever, okay? There's a couple of things in this room that you might want to take note of. Pull the lever, and it fills that pool that I was just talking about. Now we can cross the other, to the other side. There's a trap door right here, okay? And there's also a green keycard pass and another door right here. We can't do anything else with all this other stuff right now, because we don't have the green keycard pass, but... We do have that pool filled now, so let's go do that. There's also a passageway up here, you can't get to it, that's actually a return path from another area that we will see. And, uh, yeah, let's not worry about it for now. Let's go over and into this pool. So now that we have the, the water filled, we can climb out on the other side and gain access to these platforms. Now the idea here is you want to get on top of this platform over here, if I can get a proper run and jump. Okay, it is kind of hard because of that decorated piping there, but you can make it over to this ledge, which you need to do, and pull this lever, okay? This lever is going to drop the trap door in that other room if I can even get Lara Croft to get on to onto it. Okay, so that drop that uh, that drop trap is now open. It's actually a trap door, whatever. It doesn't matter, you know what I'm talking about. That's all that matters. That is what matters. You know what I'm saying. The trap door is now open. We can go into it. It's going to take us into another area. We're getting pretty close to the end of this thing already. In fact, the uh, end of the level is uh, it pretty much branches off of this le off of this room. So that's kind of interesting. But we still have an entirely new area to go explore, and that's what this trap door is going to do. Let's check out. I have 14 shots. That's enough to kill one guy. Um, but. We're actually going to grab a new set of weapons before we kill anybody else. Be careful in here because there are gunmen. You can see one glitching through the wall over there, and uh, there's a couple other ones. There's also harpoon guys down below. What we want to do is we need to get this uh, gold dragon, which is down there on the thing. Now be careful. Like I said, there's gunmen up above. There's harpooners. There's one right there actually chasing me around. So be extremely, extremely cautious while you're swimming around through here, trying to make sure you don't take damage. Pull yourself out right here, and then, um, yeah, we're about to fight some guys with some bats, okay? So, and there's also a, another shotgun guy up there. Let's go up here and let's, uh, grab this thing real quick, because we need to, uh, spawn these bat guys. We're gonna take them out with this Uzi that we just grabbed. Alright, so I'm trying to avoid the, the bat guys, because they do some serious damage. And, uh, the harpoon guys. Just a whole bunch of guys everywhere. Just guys. If you want guys, this is the place to go. I'm actually taking a lot more damage than I expected. Okay, so, yeah, all these guys are down. I'm glad I saved all that life from before. Uh -huh. This guy drops a small med pack. The other guy didn't seem to drop anything. So, yeah. Okay, now let's try to take care of some of these harpoon guys. I know they're out in the water somewhere. 
The Uzis are going to make this a lot easier because I have plenty of ammunition for those. He's down. There's one more swimmer. I don't know where that breathing is coming from, but it is kind of creepy, right? Let's try to scout the perimeter. Oh, I got shot already. Yeah, those shotgun guys. He's like directly below me down here. I got hit. That's fine. I, I'm i actually taking more damage than I expected because uh, these uh, baton guys, they actually do not spawn when you pick up the gold dragon. One spawns when you stand on each of these tiles right here. So like this tile spawns one and then the tile that the gold dragon was sitting on also spawns one of the, the baton guys. I can't seem to find this other harpoon gun while I'm standing up on this thing. So I'm just going to jump in the water and maybe even kite him over to this side. This thing right here that I'm swimming toward is actually a very safe place if you want to just take out take out those harpoon guys. There's no gunmen in this area up above you, but there is that harpoon guy still shooting harpoons at you. What you want to do if you are having a hard time getting him to come at you is hide yourself behind this wall that's directly in front of Lara Croft and you should see him start to swim over to here. And, you know, whenever he gets in range, just find him again. Okay, I just wasted a bunch of shots, I'm sure, but I had a hard time seeing what was going on. And he's dead now, so that's what we wanted. Now it's time to get out and try to kill a gunman guy with my Uzis before he kills me. That's the goal right now. Alright, so what we gotta do is climb out of this whole thing, and then here's the ladder to do so. It's gonna take us up directly next to that guy that's got a gun, too, so... Plus, we gotta run and jump over to the ledge and pull ourselves up while getting fired at, so this could be... This could be a death. We will see, though. Oh, that was almost just... had to climb this thing back again. By the way, whenever you're trying to climb these ladders and get onto a shelf, onto a ledge, make sure you see Lara's shadow appear before you try to let go. I did not do that this time, and that's what caused me to fall off. Okay, so, run and jump, grab this ledge, he's probably gonna start firing at me. Yeah. His accuracy sucks, but as soon as you open up on him, he may stop firing, so that's good. This guy drops the shotgun, so now we have two weapons we can choose, or actually three weapons. It, but I'm almost out of automatic ammo, so I essentially don't have <laughs> those weapons. Okay, now there's another shotgun guy right around this corner. Hopefully I can get him to appear, and I'll shoot him up. Not dead yet, huh? I'm just gonna go around that circle. That makes it easier for me. Alright, there's one more guy that I need to deal with. I doubt he'll be lethal. So I think we're good to go. We've actually succeeded getting through this without using a med pack, in my opinion, at this point. Here are some shotgun shells that were dropped by this guy. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Hopefully I can get some more. Let's run and jump over here and let's take this guy out. He's down. Now take note, up here on the left side, there's a corridor. That's going to be our exit path. We don't have what we came here for yet, so we don't want to leave, but we want to hop over to here and hop over to this guy. I don't think he dropped anything, but let's check. Cool, We he did not. Here is the green pass card. This is what we came here for, so let's grab that and then we can go back. Okay, you can jump through that window clearly. You don't need to use any ammunition or your pistols. I don't want to run and jump in the water. I think that's what's going to happen. Nope, maybe not. I figured, uh, yeah. I made that jump. Awesome. And here is our exit. Hop out. And now let's go back to that one area. Now this is going to take us... This is that return path that I was telling you about a little bit earlier. Okay. So we're going to have to drop back down onto that box. Here in a second. <laughs> Whenever we get through this whole thing. But we are pretty close to the end of the level, which is awesome. And what do you guys know? The Wreck of Maria Doria is coming up soon. Or the deck, whichever one I take so much life away. Coming up soon, guys. Gonna be fun. Gonna be awesome to try to do that. I'm gonna be blinking my life like this the entire time. Oh, we got another guy that spawned, by the way. Take him out. He drops a small med pack. And we want to go back in the direction he came anyway. I kind of took a wrong turn. We want to just head straight after we come out of the uh, return path. Okay, we come back into this room, and we have the key card that's going to give us access. It's going to open the, the door right here, basically. 
And the reason why we want this door open is because now we have access to this platform here without the pool being filled. Okay, it's still filled, sure, but we can drain it and we move the water over to the other pool because the other pool is drained right now and we can't get across because of that. So we switch the water with the lever once again, go back into this room, and now we can leave through this exit over here. And this is essentially the end of the level. There's some more hopping and uh, jumping around. Well, we gotta climb out of the water first, of course. <laughs> so I don't know why, I honestly don't know why they add all this extra stuff, but you know, whatever. Whatever. They apparently want me to pull a lever. We'll do it. We'll do it. But there is no more puzzle stuff. Just keep going straight, pull yourself out of the water, and we will end this level. There you guys go. I got all the secrets. Uh, killed 20 people. I didn't use a health pack, and uh, I'm Badass Games. Thanks a lot for watching my Trinity 2 walkthrough. I'll see you guys in the diving area. Take it easy.